For thousands of years, farmers across Africa, Asia, and Russia have relied on three simple crops that not only survive in poor soils but actually improve them year after year. They require no chemical fertilizers, no expensive additives, and no fancy equipment, just seeds, water, and patience. If your garden bed is tired, compacted, or refusing to produce healthy crops, these three plants can turn it around faster than you'd imagine. Today, we're diving into the tillage radish, the perennial clover, and the lab lab bean, three crops that feed the soil while growing, then leave it better than before when they die back. If you stick with me, you'll see exactly how to use them in your own patch of earth, step by step. Let's start with the easiest and fastest worker, the tillage radish. At first glance, it just looks like an oversized daikon radish, but its power lies underground. There is one catch, decomposing radishes stink, and not just a little. Farmers in Russia who have used this method for decades will tell you the odor can travel for miles. But here's the truth, that temporary smell is the scent of soil being reborn. If you can stomach a few weeks of stink, you'll gain years of fertile ground. To grow tillage radish, sow the seeds in late summer or early fall when the soil is still warm. Scatter them evenly across the area you want to heal, about one seed per square inch then rake them lightly into the surface. Water well until the seedlings establish. Once the plants are growing they need about one inch of water per week, either from rainfall or irrigation. No extra fertilizer is necessary. These roots know how to dig their own food. The radishes will grow fast and bold through autumn. When the frost comes, they collapse. Now, resist the temptation to pull them out. Just let them rot in place. By spring, what was once a hard block of dead soil will be soft, open, and rich with humus. The radish creates the holes, but what keeps them from collapsing? That's where clover steps in. In Russia, farmers discovered the power of pairing tillage radish with a perennial ground cover like Kura clover. While the radish blasts through the hard pan, the clover creeps into the gaps with its fine, fibrous roots. Those roots hold the pores open, preventing the soil from sealing back up. At the same time, clover brings in another gift, nitrogen. Like all legumes, clover forms tiny nodules on its roots where friendly bacteria live. These bacteria pull nitrogen from the air and release it in the soil where other plants can use it. Over time, your soil becomes naturally fertile without a pinch of chemical fertilizer. Every season, the clover spreads, thickens, and continues feeding the earth. Growing clover is simple. You can mix the seed right in with your radish sowing, broadcast them together, using about one pound of clover seed for every 1,000 square feet. The clover germinates quickly if the soil stays moist, so water lightly but often during the first two weeks. Once established, clover is tough. It can survive mowing, foot traffic, and even light grazing. Russian farmers have relied on this pairing since the 1930s, and many villages still use it today. They swear by its ability to turn even thin soils into fertile sponges that hold snowmelt in spring and absorb summer rains. The system has one rule though, patience. Clover is perennial, which means it takes time to settle in. But once it does, it's there for the long haul, working quietly beneath your feet year after year. Now let's look at the most remarkable of the three, the lab lab bean. Unlike the radish or clover, this plant is a true multitasker. Not only does it repair soil, it also feeds people and animals. First domesticated in East Africa over 4,000 years ago, Lab Lab spread across the Indian Ocean into India, Southeast Asia, and even the Mediterranean. Farmers quickly noticed that crops planted after Lab Lab grew taller and greener than ever before. What they didn't know at the time, but what science now proves, is that lab lab roots form partnerships with nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Just like clover, it pulls nitrogen out of the air and converts it into plant food. But lab lab goes further. Its sprawling vines shade the ground, preventing erosion and suppressing weeds. Its leaves drop to the soil and decay into humus. And when the whole plant is cut down after harvest, it turns into a natural green manure that enriches the field. You know, the bonus, the pods, beans, and even leaves are edible. The immature pods can be cooked just like green beans, the mature seeds dried and stored for years, 
And the leaves, well, they can be eaten fresh or fed to livestock. In times of scarcity, nothing is wasted. To grow Lab Lab, you want to sow seeds in warm soil after the last frost. Plant them about 1 inch deep, spacing each around 6 inches apart. Water generously at planting, about 1 gallon per square yard, and then maintain even moisture until those seedlings emerge. Once established, Lab Lab tolerates drought pretty well, though deep watering once a week encourages strong root systems. The vines will climb if given support, or they might just sprawl across the ground if left free. Lab Lab is most powerful when grown alongside tall crops such as corn or sunflowers, which act as living trellises. The bean climbs upward while feeding the soil below, just as it did in ancient African farms. By the end of the season, you can either harvest the beans or cut the whole plant and till it lightly into the soil. Either way, your ground ends the year richer than it began. Individually, each of these crops performs wonders. Together, they form a complete soil building system. Imagine this sequence in your own garden. You sow tillage radish and clover in late summer. The radish drills deep, then dies back in winter, leaving tunnels. The clover spreads into those tunnels, fixing nitrogen and holding the soil open. The next spring, you plant Lab Lab beans among the clover. They climb, shade, feed, and finally return their bodies to the soil as green manure. Over the course of one year, you've broken up compaction, improved water infiltration, boosted fertility, and created a soil ecosystem that's just alive with microbes and earthworms. That right there is the secret to true sustainability. Not just squeezing one more harvest out of the ground, but actually leaving the soil richer every single season. You know, modern farming often leans on fertilizers and machinery, but if you look back, history reminds us that plants have been repairing soils for thousands of years. The tillage radish, the clover, and the lab lab bean are not relics of the past. They are tools for the future. They cost almost nothing to grow, work with nature rather than against it, and build resilience into your land at a time when climate challenges are growing. Yes, radishes may stink as they rot, yes, clover may take time to establish, and yes, Lab Lab may sprawl across your garden. But all three repay your patience with healthier soil, stronger harvests, and food security that chemicals can never match. So next time you face dead soil, don't despair. Plant these three ancient allies and let them do the work for you. Your soil will thank you, your crops will thrive, and your garden will carry forward a tradition that has sustained people for over 4,000 years. If you found this guide valuable, make sure to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central and share this with a fellow gardener. Together we can spread this forgotten wisdom and bring life back to the soil, one season at a time.